Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. This is another video from the miscellaneous series. Very recently, we started discussion about the solvers. In relation to the solvers, the discussion about the errors and convergences are also important. So, we thought of making some segregated videos on those topics. Once we build up the basic level of knowledge, we will come up with another series that will discuss in a detailed manner about those issues and the background of the numerical methodologies that go on inside a COMSOL software. So without further delay, let us carry on with today's topic. Today we will be talking about a very important error that we, we often come across and that error is fail to find consistent initial values, last time step is not converged. Sometimes we become very frustrated by looking uh, when we look at this particular error and we don't understand what exactly the error message is. So let us go ahead with, with a particular case where we get this kind of error and then let us try to analyze why that error has come, what is the wrong thing about this particular that particular model so that we can understand about this error in a better way. So initially I will take a laminar flow physics I had already taken but for the understanding purpose let us take another physics. So you can see here I have added a laminar flow physics that is a laminar flow SPF single phase flow and now what I do I have already taken the channel inside the channel we have water and uh, what we have to do we have to define our inlets and outlets so I right click define an inlet here initially let us carry on with a I mean uh, velocity boundary condition say along x axis the velocity or you can say the normal velocity is the same because normal is the x direction only so let us make it 0 0.01 meter per second and let us make an outlet here and here also let us put some velocity say the normal velocity is 0 0.02 meter per second we do kind of meshing so this mesh is good enough and we solve for one second with an interval of 0.1 second and we try to run the simulation so i click on compute and let's see what happens so let us wait a bit the simulation has started because you can say you can see the green tick I mean the green bar and if we go to the log we can see actually it is trying to start the simulation but it has not yet started oh my god so the error has come what is the error it is showing the same error which I have told earlier that is fail to find consistent initial values last time step is not converged so whenever there is an error so that but that means there is some problem with the model now if the problem persists then there should be some error and this is one of the errors now in this particular problem if you see we have laminar flow this is the equation I have talked about it multiple times. We have fluid flow pro fluid properties. All the fluid properties are perfectly given. We had some initial values. We kept all the values at zero as we basically do. We have walls. Those are the walls and the walls are kept at no slip conditions. So those no slip conditions give two boundary condition one is the bottom one other is the top one so we have two boundary conditions we have the left hand boundary condition we have the right hand boundary conditions 
that is inlet and outlet so entirely we have four boundary conditions we have also defined the initial condition now if we look at the equation the laminar flow equation you can see this is a second order partial differential equation so second order in space and we are working with two dimension so in each dimension second order so we have second order in x and second order in y so we basically need four boundary conditions and we can see for all the four boundary conditions are given we need one initial condition and we have expressed our initial conditions here so the problem should be properly posed so why there is an issue that we have to explore now let us think i mean we are confident that the equation i mean the degree of freedom is zero that basically means how many boundary conditions you need you need four boundary conditions all you have you need one initial condition that is there so boundary condition and initial can initial condition wise the problem is properly defined there is no issue but the issue is what i did intentionally now let us try to understand the problem physically what i did both at inlet and outlet i have given the velocity boundary condition so at the inlet the velocity is coming at 0.02 but at the outlet the velocity is 0. Point, sorry at the outlet it is 0 0.02 and at the inlet it is 0 0.01 so the inlet velocity is half of the outlet velocity now try to understand this physically you have a closed pipe you are pushing the fluid at the inlet with a velocity of 0 0.01 meter per second and you, exp you, you are expecting that at the outlet you will have a velocity of 0 0.02 that is twice of the inlet velocity so this is very much unphysical because if you see if you just calculate suppose this is a rectangular or the uh, circular channel so if you, if you have a velocity of 0 0.01 so the area in the inlet and in the outlet are same so the inlet flow rate would be equal to velocity multiplied by the area and the outlet flow rate will be velocity multiplied by the area and from the continuity equation these two should be same but what we did here in both the cases you can see the area should be constant so if the inlet velocity is 0 0.01 then the outlet velocity cannot be 0 0.02 because if it is the case then it does not follow the continuity equation and if the continuity equation is not followed then what we have here if you see this is the continuity equation but the boundary condition that i have given that is not satisfying this particular equation so whenever it is trying to solve this set of equation it is getting an overestimation of this particular thing so that is the issue and that is why it could not solve the problem and it is showing this kind of error so from here what i understood what we understood this error basically comes when you don't define your problem appropriately. But how can you understand that your problem is appropriately defined? For that, you have to understand your physical phenomenon in a very transparent manner. Once you have information about your physical phenomenon, then you have to justify your boundary conditions whatever boundary conditions you are putting whether those are physical not only the boundary conditions sometimes the values that is the magnitude of the boundary conditions also matter suppose you are many times i talked about the same thing suppose you are solving for diffusion inside a solid and diffusion of solid takes um, a long time say in hours or so but you are trying to solve for a very low time 
in that particular case this things may not be properly posed and you may get the similar kind of error i am giving you another example suppose a reaction is taking place and the reaction is very fast suppose the reaction is happening within microsecond or within millisecond and you have put a time the time means in this time dependent step suppose you are putting a value 0 1 up to 100 second so this particular case may also be inconsistent because your time scale is in millisecond order but you are you are commanding console to solve for 100 second so there might be an issue with this time scale that may create the same problem so if you get this particular error just try to look at your problem and try to find out where the unphysical thing has happened if you can actually take care of this unphysical thing then your simulation should run so i wanted to talk about this error only today but now suppose in this particular condition also we can get rid of this error for that what do we need to do we need to put a pressure point constraint so what is that i will explain I, de I define any point here suppose I define a particular pressure 10 here in COMSOL also there is a direction if you use velocity boundary conditions only for your CFD simulation then you must define a pressure point constraint but what is that pressure point constraint now the most important thing is this simulation was not running but when I put this pressure point constraint you can see now the simulation is running so this pressure point constraint has done something so that the model now became consistent consistent means now the model is physical so how could it be physical because still you have a velocity inlet of say 0 0.01 and the outlet of 0 0.02 but still the simulation is running so let us complete this simulation and then we can actually analyze the results and discuss about these facts so let us wait for the simulation end yes the simulation has been completed so now let us look at the result so I change the time so now you can see the profile has become little bit different so this is the velocity magnitude and you can see from this pressure constraint some vortices kind of thing has come so now let us analyze the simulation result so if the simulation result is correct then it should maintain the continuity equation so for that the continuity as the area are same so what we should have we should have equal average velocity both at the inlet and at the outlet so for that what I have done is I have actually taken a cut line say at the outlet so at the outlet let us calculate the average u that is x directional velocity so i have defined here so u is x directional velocity so we are calculating this average across cut line 2d and my cut line 2d is here at the outlet so i click on evaluate so you can see for all time steps the average velocity is coming constant which is 0.019975 now if the if results are perfectly fine then what will happen this average velocity should match with average velocity at the inlet and along any section so now what do we do let us change the cut line 2d 1 to here I mean at the inlet that is x equal to 0 let us do it so I plot it so yeah here is the line 
now again let us plot the u so again i click on evaluate so you see what is happening the velocity is different so the inlet velocity average velocity is 0 0.0099 so this is not matching with the outlet velocity so again another way of checking it is to look for the continuity equation actually we can evaluate here and you can see the continuity is not coming as zero also because we have taken del u del x and del u del i summation of this should be zero for practical case but this is not coming so what i did here is i have used a wrong boundary condition and just to nullify it i have given a pressure point constraint so the simulation has done but still my results are not expected result so sometimes even if you have simulation done simulation has run but still you may have wrong results so you should be careful about your problem you should validate your data appropriately and from today's video we learned about a very important error message and i hope you will it will help you and you will try to apply this knowledge for your simulation if the series and also the videos are helpful then kindly subscribe to our channel because that will give us more motivation to create videos thank you